Greetings. Today we're going to chat about the five paragraph essay. What is the five paragraph essay and why does it exist? Um, I believe that the five paragraph essay is kind of an invention uh, by high school teachers to help students with standardized tests. In other words, let's say you've got 50 minutes to write an essay for a standardized test. I don't know, GED, GED, GRE, SAT, ACT, what have you. You've got 50 minutes to write. Very limited amount of time. So what the high, the high school or the five paragraph essay does is it gives you a formula or a template so that when you sit down to write an essay, you can write it very, very quickly. And so the five paragraph essay is a kind of formula. It simplifies and allows you to write quickly. Um, how is it organized? Well, um, just like any good essay, it's got an introduction, it's got a conclusion, and in the middle, it's got a body. By the way, remember that an introduction is not supposed to have any arguments. Conclusions are not supposed to have any major arguments. The arguing in an essay, by the way, begins, it, it's just in the body. An introduction should hook you and focus your attention around your argument uh, using a thesis, but your real argument is going to happen here, here in the body. Keep that in mind. Um, what happens in a high school essay or the five paragraph essay or the footstool essay, it's got three different names, is, is very rigid. Um, there's a lot of structure. The emphasis is on structure above all else. Um, I think what I want you to do is this. Pause me and read the essay on page 110 again. In the transition to college writing, page 110, bottom of the page, uh, there's an essay. There's a five paragraph essay. And that essay is deeply flawed. It's useful in a particular context, but it's also deeply flawed. Reread it now. Okay. So you've read it, and uh, you should have some ideas about its structure and the point of that essay. I'm going to reread the opening. Um, paragraph. In order for people to learn, there must be a good learning atmosphere. Many things can affect the atmosphere in which people try to learn. Some of them are class size, stress, and the professor's way of teaching. A bad learning atmosphere hinders learning because people can't concentrate and absorb the material to be learned. Now, a thesis statement is a statement often in the introduction in which you say, in which a student indicates the major point of the essay. Remember, an essay is a kind of argument. There's always a point. If you're making a point, there's a kind of argument. You understand, if you're making any kind of point, there is a kind of argument being made throughout your essay, okay? The thesis statement encompasses the major point you're going to make. If you look at that opening paragraph, what is thesis statement. What's the major point? Where's the focus specific statement that says this will be what I will argue? Well, if you look closely, I think it's really two sentences. It's the second sentence. Some of them are class sizes, stress, and the professor's way of teaching. That is the specific thesis statement specific statement that tells us what the focus of the essay will be. This student is going to argue that class size, stress, and the professor's way of teaching, these are the three things that facilitate or hinder learning, right? The way the essay operates, the way the five paragraph essay operates is you simply take the first thing in your thesis statement and you plug it then in there. You take the second thing and you plug it in there. Notice that these things are in order. They're mentioned they're mentioned in the introduction in a particular order and then the body paragraphs follow the order that you've mentioned, right? Paragraph one, paragraph two, three, four, five. Guess what happens in the conclusion? These same three things get mentioned again. Three things mentioned. One, two, three. Three things mentioned again. Okay. That's basically the structure of a high school essay or five paragraph essay. And if you're trying to write a five paragraph essay, it needs to be structured in this way. 
So what are the strengths of the high school essay? I mean, it has one, maybe two basic strengths. Um, it can teach you a lot about structure and organization. And students tend to write essays that are not clear at all. The great strength of the high school essay, it is clear. It tells you three times, three times, count them, one, two, three, the point of the essay. Can you be confused about the point of this essay in, on page 110 if it tells you what it's trying to tell you three different times? I hope not. What are the limitations? Well, it's incredibly dull. It's incredibly repetitious. It's incredibly mechanical. I never had a typing class, can you tell? So this essay, the strength is its clarity, but as a result, it's like a double-edged sword. It's so incredibly clear, but it makes you feel like the author thought you were not terribly smart. I mean, how many times do you have to be told the same thing after all, right? So this is incredibly dull essay. I mean, it, this is the kind of essay that is that feels like it was made like a, by a robot, okay? What's the real problem with the five paragraph essay? Well, it works like this. You sit down to write an essay, you really have two things to think about. You never, most folks don't think about, most students don't think about two things, but really there are two things. You need to be thinking about content. You know what that is, right? Content is, what are you going to say? Apparently, I'm not going to get that in caps. What are you going to say? How are you going to say it is the second thing you should be thinking about. How? How will you say your content, right? The problem with the five paragraph essay is this. You come to college and Often students think, if they've been taught the five paragraph essay, that when you go to college, that's what every sort of writing should look like. Every single time you sit down to write, it should look like a five paragraph essay. You bring with you, too often, this idea from high school that the five paragraph essay is the only way to write. As a result, when you go to college, instead of wrestling with content, which you have to, instead of wrestling with form, you don't wrestle with form. You've already figured out writing, so you don't even pay attention to how you are writing. You've got a formula in your brain, you've got a template in your brain, and you take your content and you simply fill in the blanks. Right? Remember up here? In the introduction, there are three things, right? And you just fill in then your content. That's what a five paragraph essay is. You've got a picture, you know how to write it. It's just a matter of plugging in the values, plugging in your information. In college, we don't want you to be an autopilot. We don't want you to be mechanical. We want you to be alive and creative and engaged. So if you're taking a lesson from high school and trying to make it live and work in college, we don't want that. Some things in high school are going to work in college, but not everything. Don't assume that you've learned everything in high school. College is a new place. It has different, it's a different context with many different environments and many different audiences. Now, it is possible that a science professor, in particular in college, could ask you to write a five paragraph essay. Why? Because the sciences tend to be very concrete. They want the facts and nothing else. They want plain, unpolished writing that's incredibly clear. So maybe in a science class, your prof will want this. How do you know? Guys, it's not complicated. You do have to think about it consciously, right? Go to your faculty member, go to your professor and say, what kind of writing do you want? I mean, this is no different what you're being asked to do in a college class is no different than uh, what you need to think about when you work for an employer. You need to figure out as quickly as possible, what does my boss want? Uh, There's no different than you and your significant other. You need to figure out as quickly as possible, what does she need or he need to be happy, right? Think about your audience. And here, this is a crucial point. If you want to effectively communicate with someone you love, with your workplace, with your boss, with your professor. If you want to effectively communicate 
in any context, you need to know who you are speaking to. I do not speak to you like I speak to my 10-year-old. I certainly don't speak to my PhD friends like I speak to my 10-year-old. Your audience determines the words, style, tone of how you communicate in written or verbal form. All right, so if you have any more questions about the five paragraph essay, send me an email. If you want me to clarify anything in this little talk, send me an email. Uh, and have a great day. Bye.